Let's quickly look at the metronome settings before we look at recording. The way to turn your click on or off is by clicking up here or by pressing K as in Kilo. By default, the metronome will be in simple mode. And you know it's in simple mode because when it's off, it is grayed out. And when I right click on it, these options are not available. So let's go to metronome settings and uncheck simple mode. Now let's close that. And now you can see that even though the metronome is off, it's purple instead of being grayed out. And when I right click on it, I have all the available options. Let's go back to metronome settings. So if you want your metronome on every time you're recording, regardless of whether it's on or off, then you should check this one click while recording. Now, every time that I press record, the metronome will be toggled on even if I have it on off. Let's look at that. So it's off, but when I press record, it starts with the recording. Let's go back to metronome settings. If I click, if I check the only during counting, then my metronome will only click for the counting and then during recording it will be automatically turned off. Uh, that's a good option you have because a lot of musicians want to uh, play without a click but they do want a count in. So let's have a look at that, let's turn counting on so you can see uh, if I'm on 13 it will count in for a bar, so from 12 with the metronome and once it starts recording it will stop. Let's go back to metronome settings. Click while playing should be on, otherwise we get no click during playback. And here you can choose if you want to have polyphonic clicks. Now let's look at changing the sound of the metronome. You can change the note and velocity for bar, group, beat and division. You can for example change the bar note to something higher to, for it to be more evident. So let's loop an area. Group has to do with grouping of notes. So if you want to see what that is, take a look at the time signature video that I've done. I think it's number 17 of this series where I go into great detail about it. Beat, I do prefer to be lower than the bar. And lastly, you also have uh, the option of using your metronome to your division. And as you can remember, by default, all projects load with a 16th note division. So let's go here, let's go to custom. And you can see that my division is 16. So I'm going to play the metronome back and then change the division so you can see how that behaves. Let's turn that on. And back to 16. Okay, so down here you can change the tone and the volume of the metronome. Let's try that. And as you can see, I'm clipping 7.2 and that's just from my metronome. That is because the output of the metronome is my stereo out. So sometimes be, be careful of that, sometimes it might not be your signal, it might be the metronome. Oh, and a, a tip is when you're recording, if it's too loud, it will bleed through the recording. So make sure you use good headphones. And if, you, if you're working with experienced musicians, then the volume is not much of an issue. Now, next to that, we have MIDI click. If you have an external device like a synth and you connect it via MIDI, you can choose to use that as a metronome. And as you can see here, it says audio clip, click Klopfgeist. The metronome in Logic is just a software instrument and it's called Klopfgeist. 
let's see how we can further change it. So let's go click on X as an X-ray to open your mixer. I'm sure you already know that. And then go to All. That will bring up the channel, the channel strip for the Klopfgeist. Hmm. It just occurred to me that uh, maybe the name Klopfgeist is an inside joke when they made logic. Klopfgeist in German means the, the knocking spirit or ghost. Because you can't see it, but it knocks, it clicks. Maybe they named it like that. Uh, anyway, so click on it to bring up the instrument. And now you can make the changes you want here as well. So during playback. Now you might be wondering, since this is literally a software instrument, can I replace it with another software instrument? Absolutely yes, and sometimes it can be more a more musical approach to recording. So the one I often use is a drum set or something percussive. So let's click on the instrument and let's go to a drum kit designer and let's see how that sounds. So the click is on. Yes, that sounds like a tone that counts the bars. So let's open the metronome settings and see the notes. Metronome settings. Okay, let's see the notes. So G5. Actually, let's also load another drum set just to see what the notes are in the piano roll. So let's bring this up. I don't want that. I want a drum kit designer, okay, and then command 4 to bring up the piano roll. And now here we can see the notes, so G5, yes that's a tone. Okay, let's see, let's change all of that. Okay, let's say that I want my bar to be a kick. So kick is C1, I can just type it in because it's much faster. C1, and let's say that I want my beat to be right simple, and that's an E flat 2. So, beat that should be E2, and then let's go down. It's probably gonna be a D sharp, yes. So, let's have a listen now. Again, and of course you can just preview the notes here while it's playing back. So I'm going to change the beat and just go through my options here while it's playing back. And that's it, you know, just choose the sound that works best for you. And if you completely mess up, so if you completely mess this one up and you can't go back to where you want where you want it to be, you can always go up here, go to Logic Pro and then Preferences, reset all preferences except key commands and everything will be reset. It just occurred to me that I haven't talked about the counting. So this option here, the counting, when you click it on, let's say we're in bar 14, you can choose how many bars you want Logic to start from before. And let's say I want my recording to start two bars before 14, not the recording, the counting. So if I'm 14 now and I press record, playback and metronome will start from 12 and then on 14 it will start recording. If I put on bar 1 it will start from 13 and then on 14 it will start recording. Let's try that. And I'm guessing I have on during counting so now it will work as we want it. And that's it about the metronome.